In the age of the devalued running back, Jamal Charles got paid last week. The Pro Bowl back got an extension, which runs through the 2017 season. A total of $28 million in the deal. Charles second in the NFL in yards from scrimmage last season behind only LaShawn McCoy. For more on the Chiefs, Janine Edwards spoke with Andy Reid. Coach, from the beginning of last season to where we are today, where have the biggest strides been made with your team? I think continuity. Just guys playing together and kind of knowing uh, what they're going to do that next step, what the man next to him is going to do, uh, actually getting around training camp, uh, you know, what I'm, what I'm going to ask them to do compared yeah. to what the, maybe the staff did before. There's always a little bit of difference between the two. And, yeah. Um, so uh, there, there's... I wouldn't say a comfort level because that's probably not good to say. You don't want to be too comfortable, right? That's right. That's right. That's right. But they understand what, what, what's expected of them. Yeah. But they came back in great shape. That's mm -hmm. great. Now, you guys have made Jamal Charles a chief through 2017. He's such a huge part of what you do. So how do you find a balance between riding his back as your playmaker and keeping him healthy? Yeah, well, he wants to work. And so uh, we, we work him out here. I mean, that's what he does. And, um, you know, at the same time, we keep track of him. I mean, I know how many reps he's got. Yeah. Uh, but he wants to be in there, and he wants to do it all. We've got a young offensive line, so they got they have to continue to gel as we go uh, through the rest of this camp. Uh, we have some young secondary players. Mm -hmm. They've got to yep. work, continue to work there. Um, and, and then uh, just the overall being a better football team, right? Eliminating mistakes. Um, making sure we finish plays. I mean, that's the, the you, you kind of hear that theme. Yeah. People feel to say, what did you learn from the last game? Okay, you learned that you got to finish. And we were the second youngest team in the national football. We got to finish. It doesn't matter. We, we learn, and, and now we have to take it up a notch. ESPN NFL Insiders contributor. That's a big title for you, Field Gates. Yeah. Field joins us now on Sports Center. Let's talk contracts. What is the latest with two Chiefs, Alex Smith? And a guy nobody talks about, but we're talking about him right now, Justin Houston. Yeah, I think both of these players are really worth monitoring as training camp continues. Both players are being had contract negotiations with this offseason. But both players who may not necessarily get a deal done before the start of this season. In the case of Alex Smith, $7.5 million base salary. And we have seen this in recent years of quarterbacks playing out the final year of their contract. Two notable ones, Joe Flacco, Jay Cutler more recently, both of them obviously cashed in. And that's the type of deal that Alex Smith is seeking. The Chiefs to this point have not been willing to give him that kind of deal. And Justin Houston, just a base salary of $1.4 million in 2014. Some leverage here. The Chiefs last year with Justin Houston on the field, 16 points per game allowed. That total ballooned to over 25 points per game in the five games that he missed. He's another player, though, that if he does reach the open market, Given his age, 25, his talents, and the need for pass rushers, he will cash in in a major way, whether it's with Kansas City or somebody else. Both those guys need to stay healthy. Alex Smith, in his first season as the quarterback for the Chiefs, did lead him to an 11-5 record, but he might be rolling the dice along with Andy Dalton. Indeed.